Hi, my name is Dominic and I'm with Stila Cosmetics. Today what we're doing is showing you looks that we saw hot off the red carpet for the Emmys. Uh, the first look that I want to show you today was all about healthy glowing skin and a monochromatic look. So I'm here today with Megan, who's going to be my model, and we're going to get rolling with the first look. Okay, so the first product that we're going to use today is our Bronzing Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, this product, what it's going to do for you is give you a really healthy glow, it's going to prime your skin, and it's also going to give you a little bit of iridescence and illuminescence to your skin so that light bounces off it and you look fresh. Okay, so I'm using brush number 33 and I'm just taking a little bit of product on from my hand and then lightly applying it to the skin to give a little bit of moisture and to prep the skin for the foundation that we're going to use on Megan. There's no real way to apply this that's technical. You just want to make sure that you give the skin a really even coat. And as we can see, it's making her really bronzy and really sexy. The next step to our look that we're creating today is going to be to apply the foundation. Now for this look, because it's all about glowing healthy skin, I've chosen Stila's Illuminating Liquid Foundation uh, because it has a little bit of mica in it which is going to allow the skin to radiate. Again, I'm using brush number 33 and I'm going to start right in the cheek area where there's the most discoloration. But luckily, with Megan here, her skin is flawless, so we don't need to use a whole lot of foundation. The great thing about using the Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer in the bronze shade is that it really, really knocks out a lot of redness in the skin so that your foundation has to work a lot less hard. Okay, so I flipped over brush number 33 to the smaller end, which is the concealer side. I'm just going to take a little bit of the foundation, and because it has the pearl in it, it makes a really great concealer for underneath the eye. It's going to reflect the light so that she looks bright and awake. Okay, so this fall, Stila launched the backstage palette that was inspired by the fall runways that we saw in New York. The color that I'm going to use on Megan here is called Chiffon, and what we're going to do with that is use it to coat her base on the lid. Okay, so I'm going to use brush number 30, and I'm going to dip it into the Chiffon eyeshadow shade, and apply directly to the lid, starting at the lash line and then lightly diffusing it up towards the brow. So now the next product that we're going to use from the Backstage palette is called Luster. It's a really beautiful taupey brown shade that we're going to use in the crease of Megan's eye in order to en enhance her eye shape. The brush I'm using, again, is brush number 30, but I flipped it over to the more fluffy, blending side of the brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of the color onto the brush and then lightly, using circular motions, brush it into the crease. By using circular motions, it'll ensure that the color is diffused evenly throughout the eye area. And to maximize the eye shape, I'm using the shadow right underneath the lash line as well. So the next product that we're going to do to create this look is use the Stila Smudge Stick, which is my personal favorite product. The color I'm using is called Lionfish. It's a waterproof eyeliner formula that's going to easily glide on the eye area. We're going to use brush number 15 to smoke it out. Lionfish Smudge Stick to the lash line. And then use brush number 15 to smudge it. This will give you a very light look, but a smoky eye. Apply Lionfish Smudge Stick to the bottom of the lash line, right in the center. Then again, use brush number 15 to smudge it from corner to corner. To finish off the look on the eyes, what we're going to use is our new Glamorize Mascara that we launched this fall. It's a really dark black mascara that has a little bit of sheen to it as well, so it gives your lashes a little bit uh, of a look like patent leather, which I really enjoy. Um, it also is going to wrap tubes around each lash to really give them a lot of length and a lot of thickness. I'm just going to apply the mascara right through the lashes, wiggling the brush through to make sure that you get to the base of the lash, and then use the tip of the mascara wand in order to 
point the lashes in the direction that you want them to go. Okay, now that we've completed the eye look, what we're going to move on to is the cheeks, and what I've chosen for that is a Stilo One Step Prime Color for eyes, cheeks, and lips. What I'm going to use this product for, though, is only the cheek area because I just love a bronzy cheek. Using brush number 33 again, which is a very versatile brush, we've used it for the foundation as well, I'm just going to take a little bit of the color, smile for me, and apply it directly to the apple of the cheek, and then brushing back to blend. This is also a great shade to contour with. The final step in creating this red carpet look is to apply the lip color. This season, Stila launched Patina Longwear Lip Color, which is one of the shades of these longwear lip colors that I'm going to use. It's a really beautiful, neutral shade that's going to hug the shape of her lip and give her just enough contour to make her lips pop. And to finish off this look, I'm going to use Nirvana Lip Enamel. Now what I love about this product is that it contains Rhodiola Rosea, which is a botanical that will actually increase the dopamine and serotonin levels in your body to make you happy. I'm using our lip brush number 6 with just a little bit of the gloss on it. I'm going to put the gloss right in the center of the lip and work out to the corners.